Hey, man, before we get this started, I'm going to need you to like, share, comment, subscribe to this content. It's your homie and Coop when we at the crib. Go get you some seltzer water. Go get you some tea. I don't know if you like it hot or ice. Whatever you do, just do it because we're going to have a conversation. So today's topic um, is more so talking about, you know, feminine energy, masculine energy, and um, the mindset to have as a man, you know, dealing with women in these current times. So... I want to start off with feminine and femininity, right? All of that is based on actions, right? Women are attracted to the actions that a man makes, which is considered masculinity. Now, I'm going to break this down. So when a man creates, when a man provides, when a man protects, these things are attractive. To the woman the woman is attracted to the act right she's also attracted to the creation so whatever the man acts out and creates and adds into the world is where the woman would be attracted and why she should be attracted so the reason i'm saying this is because i want you guys to understand that females and femininity that is pretty much the attraction to the action, like I just said. So, for example, if she sees that you drive a nice car, if she sees you have a good job, if she sees that you you have a nice body, right? If she sees that you're willing to fight, if she sees these things, she's going to be attracted to those things, right? She's not attracted to you. She's attracted to the acts that you're making, right? And she's also attracted to the possessions you may have, the materials, because women are very attracted to materials, right? Creation. So that may be a French bulldog. That may be a car. That may be jewelry, right? That may be a, some type of possession, right? That she enjoy. Men are based on, masculinity is based on the actions to make these things happen, right? So when you actually sit back and you think about it as a man on his purpose, as a man on his mission, what you should do is consider the simple fact of these females that you're attracted to aren't even attracted to you. They are attracted to the actions that you are making. All right. Hopefully you understand that because I'm trying to make it as vague and clear as possible. Right. So once you realize that they're only attracted to the actions you're making, you can take yourself out of the equation and understand that this person doesn't like you for you because we get so caught up in the fact that, wow, I really like this girl and I think she likes me for me, but that's not the truth. She likes the action that you're making. She doesn't even know this, right? This is real game. I'm really breaking this down. She likes the actions that you're making. She likes how you're moving. She doesn't like you, right? And she sees that you can protect, provide, and do these things. So she's attracted to that at that moment. Perfect example of how it changes. Now, a lot of women deal with NBA players, drug dealers, scammers, right? You get injured. You go to jail. What happens? The woman that you're dealing with, she ends up finding you unattractive because you're not providing what you have provided originally, right? And now she's looking for somewhere else, right? So now she's going to look for another athlete. So now she's going to look for another scammer. Now she's going to look for another drug dealer, right? Because you're no longer there to actually provide for her in terms of the actions, right? The materials are gone, right? They're not being given. They're not being, you know what I'm saying, created for her. So that's the problem, right? So when you understand this concept, you can take your feelings out of the situation and just judge things for what it actually is. It actually is this. She likes the actions that you're making. Once those actions stop, she will not like you anymore. There's millions of beautiful women on this planet, right? And they're all very similar. It's not like, oh, my goodness, she's so different. She, she's so different. Like, this is going on overseas, all over different continents, different countries, different cities. It's the same game. We are human species. We're all interdependent on one another. We're all interconnected, right? So with that being understood, it's the same game being played. This is the law of life that we live in this existence. And it's not biased to anybody. It's not. The more you act masculinity you create you provide you have materials 
all those actions, right? You create an environment, you create a situation, you create an opportunity, you create all these things. That is masculinity, right? The action, right? Even going to work out, the repetition, all of that is masculine traits. A girl who goes to the gym, a lot of times, what happens? She ends up looking masculine. Her face changes, her body changes, sometimes even her voice changes. You see what I'm saying? All due to the fact of her, you know, pretty much doing more masculine acts than feminine acts. You see what I'm trying to say? So, and that's the role, that's vice versa for guys who don't work out, guys who don't, you know, commit the acts that are needed. They start to become more feminine because they're not really resonating their masculine energy that was designed for them for whatever reason. You're not wrong for it, but I'm just saying, you know, that's what it takes to be masculine. So you have females who are masculine, you have males who are feminine, vice versa. So when you get to realize what this game really is, you will take it for face value. You won't fall for these women, right? When these women aren't being provided for anymore, or they feel a type of way that you're providing for someone else, or whatever the case may be, the next step is that they will take. They will take from you, whether they steal from you, whether they file a lawsuit, whether they want to put you on child support, whether they divorce you and want to take some of the money that you've had before they even came into the picture, right? So with you knowing this in the back of your mind and in front of your mind, you will protect yourself way more because in a spur of the moment, say you go out with some girls and you bring them to the club and you get them some hookah, you get them some liquor and stuff like that. For that time in the club, you have more control over them than at any other time due to the fact that you actually acting out masculine traits that they're attracted to, right? So if you're going to try to bust a move, that will be the best time to do it. Just because under the whole umbrella of actions of being a man, that is what they're attracted to. At that moment, you're at your height because you're providing for her in that exact moment. So that is the best opportunity to maybe get her number, maybe get a kiss, maybe, maybe you know, touch in a little, you know, nice, sensual way. That is the, the best opportunity because in terms of that, she's in her feminine nature. You know what I'm saying? And that's just an example, but there's other situations like if she needs help with bills and stuff like that. You know what I'm saying? It's that action. You feel me? So that's when they're most feminine. That's when they find you most attractive. Oh, he just took care of this. He paid this. Oh, he's at the gym working out. Oh, he just created a new business. This time the third. Oh, he's going to buy me this. Oh, we got a French bulldog now. Oh, we're getting a little Rottweiler. You see what I'm saying? We're getting a, 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 a Dalmatian. All that material stuff, all that action stuff, stuff that we act, how we build the world. We build the world. Women enjoy the world. Understand me? Men, we build the world. Women enjoy the world, right? We don't even get to enjoy it because you know why? We're so busy building it, bro. We work our ass off, right? And everything in terms of, you know, I say America is more so tailored to the woman. That's why it's so backwards over here. But in a lot of other places, it's not like that because men have so much respect because they built the world. You know what I'm saying? Literally, the act of being a man, which is masculinity, you know, ideally is building, creating something. So, you know, for my guys on their mission, on their purpose, on their journey, I just want you to understand what this really is. All right. Because at the end of the day, this is real stuff. This is really going on in front of you, behind you, around you. This is the game that's being played everywhere. Right. So just take your feelings out of it and understand that they only like you for the actions that you're making and the materials that you have. They don't like you for you. And when you realize that, you will get to the next level because you'll be focused on you and not them. Let's go. Like, share, subscribe to this content. We at the crib. Let's get it.